Welcome and thank you for choosing to apply to our new Family Medicine Residency Program at Upstate Medical University. My name is Dr. Jean Bailey and I am the Program Director for our program. Before I start, it is during these unprecedented and challenging times that I pray you and your families are staying safe and well. It is important to keep with the recommendations of social distancing, wearing a mask when appropriate, and washing your hands. So I am very excited and energized about this opportunity to offer a very diverse and in many ways different family medicine residency program in Syracuse, New York. My personal statement on the website summarizes my personal desire for the program, but also please feel free to explore the other information provided in each one of the links. Due to all interviews this year being virtual, we have included some videos to give you a look at the ex excellent facilities and experience we have to offer. If you click on the faculty link, you will see that we have assembled a very passionate, experienced, caring, and talented faculty that come from around the world, literally. They are also very excited and ready to innovate and trailblaze this program. And as residents in this program, we are looking to you for your creativity, innovation, and curiosity. You will be an integral part of our moving forward to and building the foundation of where we want to go as a program. During this presentation, our agenda is as outlined here. I will introduce you to our upstate team that is composed of our faculty, residents and staff, our mission and vision for this program leads us and directs us as we move forward in building our future together. We will review the rotations during the PGY one year, and we can also look at the second and third year as well, where there are many selectives and electives for you. Our curriculum is based on the Society for Teachers in Family Medicine, or SDFM, and our American Academy of Family Practice, or double AFP, guidelines and recurs every 18 months. Residency life is critical to our success, not only for you as a resident, but also for your personal growth and resiliency for life to come. I have some slides on Syracuse, New York, and why I feel that Syracuse um, is a nice place to live and has become my home. And then lastly, I will present some slides that were given to me by faculty members in our department that will outline some of the opportunities available to you in our program. We have an amazing and dynamic, talented and committed faculty team. They are intimately engaged, not only in educating our residents, but also at a personal level. We want our residents to be welcomed and to have access to us. For the past two years, residents have shared many experiences and also have worked among us to solve problems as they arise. Our faculty include uh, expertise from many different areas of concentrations. We have a seasoned medical director from a large healthcare system in Pennsylvania, a family medicine doctor who is fellowship trained in cesarean section for maternity care, faculty who are board certified in integrative medicine, and we are especially proud of our psychiatrist who works with our residents from day one. For balant group that occurs one time per month, for every resident, we are happy to have a very experienced clinical psychologist working together with us. As we are connected to the VA hospital, we are fortunate to have a faculty member who directs the Women's Health Clinic and also spearheading um, a lot of research there. She has also recently been awarded a HRSA grant 
to begin a rural training track one plus two with our residency program. Our chair, which is in the upper right of this uh, slide, is very supportive and equally invested in the success of our residency and works tirelessly at the institutional level to advocate for family medicine and primary care. Of course, the most important person is the person on the lower right hand of this slide. Um, and it's usually the one that's working behind the scenes, keeping us going and on track. Without our program administrator, Heather O'Hearn, we would often be aimlessly lost. Uh, you may have already been contacted by her, but please feel free to contact her with any questions. I am also available via email um, if you have any concerns or questions regarding the program. And I put my email on the introductory slide uh, during the welcome. I cannot say enough about our trailblazing residents. They are the backbone of our program and really the reason we all do what we love to do. This program is about them. It's about you. Together, they have been leading the charge in helping us to build, grow, and implement the components of this program. It can be challenging at times, especially given COVID, but they have always stepped up to the plate and I believe are hitting it out of the ballpark. We are excited to now have a full complement of residents with this year's entering PGY-1 class. And what can I say about our staff? You will be working in the continuity clinic with dedicated nurses and other staff that put patient care first. They love our residents and look for ways to help and make their lives better. They are first in line for clinical issues or concerns and will become uh, one of your best friends in our clinic family. So what is our mission for the residency program? And um, I just want to read uh, what it is that's on our website. And I just basically translated to this slide. We want to prepare exceptional family physicians providing exemplary patient care. We want to foster scholarly activities and research. We, would, we want to inspire leadership and then we want to advocate for policies that support community health and holistic approaches to health care and prevention. So how do we accomplish this? There are multiple aims for our residency program, but most importantly, we are a community and university-based program that has integrated two strong academic institutions that are home to many residents and faculty and educational opportunities. And we combine that with a community hospital that is the home to this residency program. We call our program new. However, we also think of it as an older program, basically because we are so connected to Upstate Medical University and they have been in the educational business, so to speak, for over 50 years. We also have created a direct link in the bottom left hand of this slide, um, a direct link to the Department of Public Health and Preventive Medicine through SUNY Upstate for a formal educational opportunity to be offered to you that's called the Certificate of Advanced Study in Public Health or CASPA. The department also is engaged with the community uh, directing the Onondaga Nation Clinic, which is in the lower right hand of the slide, and also a rural site. Uh, this is where the um, rural training track will begin in Auburn Community Hospital, and also opportunities through our rural medicine program that we encourage our residents to become involved with. We are not a cookie cutter program. We offer a wealth of experiences that tailor to your interests and or 
your areas of concentration. As residents in this program, we are looking also to you for your creativity, innovation, curiosity, leadership teaching and teaching. You will be an integral part of our moving forward to where we want to go as a program. So when I think about our program, there's two images that I want you to think about, and that's number one is the eagle. The eagle, when I see this picture, um, speaks to me about aspiration and innovation and elevation and grace. It's the pinnacle of flight. It's the pinnacle, it, uh, it represents the pinnacle of birds. This is where I see our program rising to. Now, when we look, take this, I mean, first of all, fortune favors the bold. Flying high and majestic and aiming high is something that we want to do in our program. Now, as we come down to the ground level, this is the picture that I want you to think about for our residency program. Obviously, you see a very luxurious building here. And right now, obviously, we are forming the um, the base and the foundation, but these turrets that you see actually, I believe, could be the areas of concentration that our residents will be building up each and individually uh, for themselves. And then also, this will be a building that when future uh, applicants and and then soon to be residents come into, they will be just all inspired and want to to check it out and see what's going on and see where their interests lie. We're always willing to build new turrets as well. So, um, you know, some grand uh, visions for this program, but I really think that uh, we are on our way to making this happen. I'd like to move on to the rotations. <clears throat> this is our rotation diagram. And I just want to point out at the top that that's your PGY uh, one year where you'll be building your family medicine foundation uh, with core rotations in internal medicine and surgery and labor and delivery, GYN, ICU, and pediatrics. During pediatrics, it will be newborn, inpatient, and outpatient. Uh, continuity clinics during the first year are one half day, uh, and they occur on Tuesday morning. Uh, and then um, uh, during, uh, we'll get into this later with didactics, uh, during, um, uh, during the afternoon, you'll have uh, didactics on Tuesday as a first year. During inpatient medicine, we have formed a teaching service so that you'll be with a PGY2 and three as supervisor. The team caps at around 12, of course, depending upon uh, how busy they are, um, they also can go up to 16 if needed. During PGY2 year, you'll do more subspecialties, increasing your breadth of knowledge and skills and increase continuity clinic from two to four half days per week. And then during the PGY3 year, you'll be learning about practice management, research skills, sports medicine, and whole health. Continuity clinic, again, is two to four half days per week. Note that you'll have two electives during the PGY2 year and three electives during PGY3 year. This is intended for you to pursue an area of concentration that will help to shape your future ambition. Okay. Oops. Okay, our curriculum um, begins actually at orientation. Uh, it's composed of topics from the STFM residency curriculum uh, and the uh, family medicine residency curriculum guidelines from the AAFB. During orientation, you will receive education uh, not only from us, but also from Upstate Medical University that's aimed at all residents. And then specific topics will be presented for our own residents during orientation. This includes professionalism and wellness and communication, as well as others. For PGY one year, um, 
we we have available our Tuesdays that are reserved for continuity clinic in the morning, and then the afternoon is devoted to didactics. We refer to this as teaching Tuesdays. There is a combination of one hour didactic presentations from our upstate uh, specialists uh, or block hands on and discussion uh, blocks regarding selected topics. For example, one of our faculty will speak on shoulder, knee, and ankle, and then residents can move to the anatomy lab where they review pertinent anatomy and also perform injections. Another example is an afternoon session on maternity, ultrasound, and then an opportunity to scan OB patients. This time is also for journal club one time per month with uh, all the residents and other administrative time as needed for the program director and associate program directors. Uh, why is this not working? So this is an example of our schedule for didactics. PGY-1 is uh, here. Uh, and what I've outlined in blue is really sort of at the end of the day, we always end with some wellness or journal club activities. And so you'll see that balance group is here. And then we have some whole health, uh, some basic research and critical appraisal skills, and then wellness with motivational interviewing and exercise. So uh, we always try to end with something like this. Um, I've outlined in red here, one of the examples of a block rotation where we uh, discuss uh, OB ultrasound and then have an opportunity for you to do hands-on with patients. Resident life is very important to our program and it's one of the highlights, I believe, that uh, makes us maybe a little different than others. Uh, we have limited 24-hour shifts, limited night float, so you have plenty of time uh, to spend time outside of residency uh, with your family or doing some activities that you feel are important to your work-life balance and wellness. Uh, you will have quarterly faculty advisement meetings, and uh, it is in the intent of those meetings to help guide you through the residency program. Also during those meetings, uh, we'll, they'll be reviewing a lot of the uh, feedback that comes from faculty on rotations, uh, also your goals and aims, um, and then also getting you ready for your electives, uh, reviewing your in-service training exams and those sorts of things. Um, your, your faculty advisor may become a mentor for you, but there's also plenty of other mentors at Upstate that you'll discuss with your faculty advisor if you just decide an area of concentration that may be outside of your faculty advisor's um, scope. We also provide for you uh, study aids for your in-service training exam and step three. The New England Journal of Medicine Knowledge Plus is really something that you'll have for three years and offers thousands of questions. And then we also pay for three months of UWorld for preparation for step three. If you are um, present at any conferences, we will pay for your travel, uh, lunch, is often provided at the didactic lectures. We really encourage social gatherings at least quarterly, and uh, we are very invested and uh, in our wellness curriculum and our balance monthly. This is something that our residents have told us that um, is a real highlight of the program. I have some pictures. Um, so you can see here is where we have our residents in the anatomy lab. Uh, and uh, one of our faculty is showing a joint injection of the knee. Um, we had one of our residents who was able to uh, join uh, us. I'm a school physician for football, and this was even during PGY1 uh, year. Uh, this is at our or during our orientation with some residents at the Mu at Everson Museum in Syracuse, uh, and then just some other activities that residents are doing. Um, just again, some other uh, pictures of things that we like to do with each other together. Um, obviously, we're in a COVID environment right now, so plenty of masks, uh, some Halloween get togethers, 
So very, and then we had a nice little gathering at one of our parks um, as well. So uh, resident life is really, really important. And um, we, we strongly encourage our residents to gather when they can. Of course, with COVID, it's hard these days. Uh, as far as salary is concerned, here's a list of the current salaries that will be as of July 1st, 2021. Um, and um, so um, one of the things I do want to say is that the cost of living in Syracuse is much less than in other cities. And so definitely the money that you make will go further in Syracuse. You can really get into very nice apartments uh, and also even eat out every once in a while if you want uh, for a pretty reasonable um, cost. This is a, a picture of um, Syracuse itself. And basically what I have here is uh, some highlighted um, areas, but I do encourage you to watch the video located in our website. Syracuse is a city that is located centrally in upstate New York. It is close to Buffalo and Niagara Falls uh, to the west, Ithaca Gorges and wine country to the south, Lake Ontario and some beaches actually um, to the north and New York City is actually to our southeast and about four hours away. We also are only four hours away from our Adirondack Park, which is a protected park in the United States, uh, in, in the United States, in the state of New York. It's known for its fall foliage, viewing forested mountains with hiking trails, crossing the Adirondack high peaks near Lake Placid. Upstate Medical University is, uh, is located here in sort of the center of the city. Um, proper near to it is, oops, sorry, near to it is Armory Square. Uh, that's home of some of Syracuse's better restaurants, at least two coffee houses, um, and dozens of small shops that sell everything from band instruments to used records to women's clothing. It has obviously several bars and nightclubs for a little bit of nightlife. Destiny uh, USA is located um, right here. And Destiny USA is a six story super regional shopping and entertainment complex on the shore of Onondaga Lake. Uh, it is the largest shopping mall in the state of New York. And I think it's like third largest in the country. I also indicated Marshall Street, which is close to Upstate Medical University. Marshall Street is uh, the street in the University Hill neighborhood, uh, and it's adjacent to Syracuse University. This area primarily functions as an off-campus commercial area for college students. And then lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't point out our infamous Carrier Dome. It is the largest dome stadium of any college campus and the largest dome stadium in the northeastern United States. Um, it is home to football and basketball and actually has the largest basketball arena in the nation. However, we are soon to lose our dome uh, because it's being replaced with uh, a fixed roof, two thirds of which will be translucent and the installation of air conditioning. And I have that pictured right here. So we are undergoing a change uh, as far as that is concerned. So what are the opportunities? And I wanted to spend a little bit of time going through this. Um, there are a series of slides that I've included by our faculty um, um, highlighting the areas of interest for our residents. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video now, and then I'm gonna create a second video that will outline these slides and then conclude so you can take a break. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the video at this point and then we can um, pick up in a second.